Welcome to 360 Ministries. Today I'm going to be preaching from uh, John 10, start at 1, going through verse 12. But today I'm going to talk to you about something that a lot of us go through, and that's distractions. The title of my message is Coyote Ugly. And probably a lot of you are thinking, why? Why would you do that? But the Lord brought to me about the coyote and the roadrunner. Simple childhood, you know, things that we used to watch growing up. Um, I know I did. A lot of kids today probably won't remember the Coyote or the Roadrunner. But have you just watched the cartoon, the Roadrunner, how the Coyote's always trying to capture him, trying to get him. He's using distractions like, you know, free bird seed or, you know, something fancy, something wonderful. And he's trying to lure him in. Well, that's how the enemy is. So I'm going to start reading. Verily, verily, I say to you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know the, his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, <clears throat> but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to kill and destroy. I am coming that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own sheep the sheep are, not seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. Of course, yeah, it talks about the wolf, but the coyote in the cartoon was always after the roadrunner. He wanted to capture him, and he wanted to kill him, just like the enemy does us. This is more, I guess, for the, the Christian today. You know, everybody keeps saying, oh, well, you're a Christian. You don't go through things. Well, we do. We go through a lot of things. We, we get distracted by the enemy. When God gives us these things that he wants us to do, there's, there's several things that the devil can steal. Your purpose, your desire, your vision, your gifts, um, your marriage, your calling, your potential, things that God has given you, he can steal, he can kill your um, dreams, he can kill your uh, vision, he can kill um, just things that God has given you if you allow him to do it. But if you look at the roadrunner, how smart he was. He always knew how to get the, ro uh, the, the coyote. He would always come up real fast and, and just be there before the coyote knew it. That's how we have got to be. We've got to get in our word. We've got to be prepared. We've got to be more diligent and watch the, what the devices the enemy uses to try to distract us. He can use a, a person. He can use um, the TV. He can use music. He can use anything as a distraction. If it keeps your eyes off of God, then it is a distraction. And you don't need that. But God can also give those things to you. But the devil will turn them around and use them for distraction. So we need to be more in the word and when those things come as a distraction, we need to pray. We need to seek God. We need to um, ask God, God, you give us this blessing. You have given this. this. Help us to not let this be a distraction anymore. Help us to be more focused on you. Be more focused on what God has for us to do. We need to go out as Christians and, you know, prepare people for when the distractions come. When new new believers come in to the fold, you know, they believe so the devil has them so deceived that they think, oh, well, you know, if you're a Christian, you should have an easy life. Well, we're not going to have an easy life. But he did say, Jesus did say that he would come to give us life more abundantly. A lot of people think, oh, well, if you don't have money or nothing, that's not abundantly. But the abundantly is joy and peace and happiness and just the 
just the joy and the peace and the presence of God, that comes in abundance. And all the other things, when you seek God first, will be added unto you. It will be overflowing. And yeah, we may not have what we want, but we have everything we need because God gives it to us. So we as Christians need to stop letting these distractions keep us from being focused on God because there's so many out there that don't know God, that don't know who He is. And if we're distracted by pettiness, by selfishness, by pride, by anger, by bitterness, all these things that can be in our lives, we need to get those out. Be like that roadrunner and be on guard. That's why you need to pray and fast and seek God every day. Be in His Word. That is your rock. That is your that stronghold, that, that, that strongness that God gives you. Those strongholds that are in your life, God can break them through His Word, through his through prayer. So it's time that we need to be like the roadrunner and just go out there and, and face the enemy it through God. Not by yourself. You face it through God. And you'll be like that roadrunner. And you'll get away far away from the enemy. He has to flee when Jesus comes into the picture. So put on the armor. Put on everything that is of God. Get in the word. Pray fast. Everything you can to let that distraction be cast out. And you will overcome so many obstacles. I mean, just think about it, the free bird seed. He always got the free bird seed, but he still did not get caught by the coyote. So that coyote is ugly. That wolf is ugly. He's deceiving, but he can come as sheep. You have to be prepared. You have to be aware of who who is there reading, who is teaching, who is, you know, there's false prophets, there's false doctrines. We have to be prepared. The devil has a counterfeit for everything. You have to be in discernment. You have to know who God is. You have to be prepared. I can't stress that enough. Time is drawing short. If you don't know God, I, can't, I ask you to give your life to Him. You won't be disappointed. Yes, you'll have hardships. I've had hardships. I've been through so much in my life, but I will not allow the enemy to let that take hold of me. I have overcome that because Jesus has overcome everything. He has overcome the world. He has overcome everything that Satan has tried. He has given his life for you. So I ask you, if you don't know him, come to know him. But as the Christian, Lord, as the Christian, I'm asking for you to open up your heart to God, his word, and seek and get these distractions out of your life. They need to be gone and they need to be cast out. I pray that you hear my words, not my words, but God's word and go forth and do what he has called you to do. Don't let the calling be distracted. Go forth and do what God has called you to do. Thank you.